What is going on everybody? Welcome to part two of our NLTK or Natural Language Toolkit tutorial video with Python. In this video we're going to be talking real briefly about stop words. So what are stop words? So with a lot of data analysis you're going to find that before you actually get to do any of the good stuff you're going to have to do a lot of pre-processing and arguably that's basically what NLTK the module does help you with. So NLTK is not going to you know, generate any insights for you really all it's going to be able to do is help you kind of analyze pull apart text uh, tag things either part of speech named entity and so on that kind of stuff but it can also help you with uh, the topic we're going to be talking about today and that's stop words so what are stop words so there's kind of like two notions of what stop words can be one stop words can be something that <clears throat> just like you literally you, you come across that word and you just run away. You give it up and you, you like leave. So a lot of times people might use words that are typically used sarcastically as a stop word because they don't want to continue attempting to analyze something when it may or may not be the actual like opposite meaning. So that's one notion, but another notion of stop words are these words that you just pull out. You just don't care about them. They're fluff and you don't need them. So this would be like A, the and for the most part uh, these kinds of things don't really have any meaning to your text uh, therefore you can just remove them they're filler words basically and they make our language to us make a lot more sense but as far as data analysis is concerned they're useless so uh, let's go ahead and get started there so uh, first of all we're going to go ahead and do from nltk.corpus again making huge use of corpus we're going to be you'll find that we're using corpus throughout this entire series um, and I highly suggest you check it out. Later on, we'll actually go visit the corpus and see all the stuff that we have. Um, anyway, from nltk.corpus, imports stop words. Then, from nltk.tokenize, we're going to import word underscore tokenize. Now we need to make an uh, example sentence. So let's just say uh, example sentence equals um, this is an example showing off stop word filtration that may or may not work uh, <laughs> we'll see hopefully there's enough in there that will uh, be good so now we're gonna say stop underscore words equals and we're going to say the set of uh, stop words, stop words, and the <clears throat> stop words has a few languages. We're going to be using uh, the English language. So all of our stop words is going to be a set of English stop words that have already been predefined by NLTK. Uh, we don't have to do anything about that. Now, you can add your own words. You can append words to stop words and so on. So, for example, let's just print. I don't believe it's a huge uh, set here. Let's just print them and see what it is. Right. So, here are your stop words. It's a set of them. We've got whom, between, yourself, if, so, own, you, or. So, it's actually not that big of a list, but these are just really, really common English words. You could probably figure out a good list of stop words by pulling up um, any of those big corpora and using, you know, from collections import counter and then taking every single word, adding it to a big list and using counter and like the first, I don't know, 20 words are probably stop words because they're just useless. <laughs> so anyway, uh, those are stop words and uh, those are the stop words rather, but now let's show like what we can do with them. So uh, let's tokenize the sentence. So let's do words equals word dot, or uh, word underscore, oh my goodness, I'm totally going crazy. Word underscore tokenize. And what do we want to word tokenize? Example sentence. So that's it. So now we have the words. And then now we're going to filter the sentence. So filtered underscore sentence. I keep wanting to put a D there. Sentence. Um, so filtered sentence is, we'll just have an empty list for now. And then we're just going to say for W in words, or actually, yeah, words. For w in words, if w not in stop words, filtered sentence dot up append w. Okay, 
Uh, simple enough, there is a quick one-liner I'll show you after this that most people use from examples with NLTK, but it's confusing if you don't know those one-liners, so I'll show you that in a moment though. So we'll save and run that. And we're not printing the filtered sentence, so nothing is happening afterwards. Uh, print and filtered sentence. Copy paste that in there. Okay, this, so is and was removed. This example showing off was removed. Stop word filtration, period. Okay, so you can see that at least a few were removed. Arguably showing off, off maybe should have remained because we were actually like showing off is almost like a, you know, a conjoined uh, pair there. Uh, but arguably, no, the sentence meaning still remains the same. This is this example showing stop word filtration, totally fine. So um, that's just a quick quick example. Now, as promised, I'll show you the one-liner. Uh, I tend to stay away from those fancy one-liners just because people don't really understand what's happening in them. This is really simple to follow along. Uh, but I'll show it to you anyway. So you could say um, <clears throat> instead of this, let's comment that out. You could say filtered underscore sentence uh, equals, so this will be, we'll use the same parameters, w for w in words if not w in stop words. Okay, so hopefully if I speak it out slowly, you know, obviously you see exactly what's happening here, but this is just word for word in words. So that's just iterating through and allowing us to throw in this down here. Uh, so for each word in words, if not w, so if w isn't in stop words, then it's part of the filtered sentence list that we're making. And then we can just, at the end of this, print filtered, oh, there's that D again, man. Uh, filtered sentence, and there you have, same thing. Okay, so that's stop words. You'll find that it's useful, um, especially if you're having any sort of database or you're pulling out words and you're, say you have like articles on articles on articles, stacks on stacks on stacks. Uh, you, this will save you a lot of processing time to just not waste your time with words that just simply do not matter. Um, so anyways, uh, that's it for stop words. We'll go ahead and, and stop there. Um, not too interesting, but also pretty helpful to have nonetheless. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support of the subscriptions. And until the next video.